Well, hey y'all, John Francis Restorations, welcome back. It's been a little while. We got a little busy there, so we decided to just take a break from filming, get caught up, and now we're back. Hopefully things don't slow down with what's going on with this coronavirus. We're trying to do our part and keep our social distancing. So I'm spending a little more time at home and in the shop. Let me show you what today's repair is going to be. So here we have our client's grandfather's rocking chair. Well, the spindle broke and they don't have this piece. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a dowel. We're going to piece it in here, get it glued, do some filling, some touch up and blend it in. I'm going to leave this at an angle here. I think I'll trim this down some, make it an angle. That way we'll just have that much more area to glue to. We're gonna kind of just get this beveled some so there's more gluing area on this piece. Like I said, this piece is just about perfect. We'll probably sand it flat some. I can actually get this out of here, which is good. I'll see if I can take it out down here actually. But I mean, that's just about perfect. We'll just get a sanded flat. And then we'll cut this as close as possible to match and get it glued and clamped. And then we're also gonna get this joint here glued and get this pulled back down. Now I'm going to take this dowel and I'm going to use the same sander to get us lined up here. I'll just put a couple marks to kind of keep me straight. All right, so let's do this. So here we are, it's the first step here. That looks pretty good. We'll get that glued together. And while this is drying overnight, we'll go ahead and get this cut to about the angle we want it. And then we'll um, cut the dowel to fit. So I think by looking at this, this spindle's decently loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to break that free and get it out, she's gonna make it that much easier than trying to sand and cut while it's on here. You just do a little wiggling and some turning. Yeah, here it comes. I don't wanna do it too quick, I don't wanna jam it straight up and crack any more than it's cracked, but. All right, we got it out. Be quick and easy to glue that back in. But if you look, we've got a curve here. So we've got to make sure that we keep that curve where it needs to be. Matter of fact, I think I will put a little mark down here so we can remember that. Now I can take this over to the sander and basically do the exact same thing I did there. And then we'll make our adjustments I'm going to cut that dowel a little long so we can slowly make our way down centimeter by centimeter. I don't want to have to do this twice. Just want to mention real quick when it comes to taking out spindles like this. If I get this all glued back together, it'll end up being too long to fit in here. But I think what I'll go ahead and do is once I get it all cut, I'll get it put in and glue it. That's very important. The last thing you wanna do is get this stretcher back together and then it won't fit because this is obviously 
about two inches longer. Well, good morning. So we let this dry overnight. Let's get this tape off and see how it is. Well, there you go. It's looking pretty good. Let's get the rest of this tape off. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's on there solid. So the way we got this glued together here, once we get this finished off and matched up, you won't even notice this transition. The grains run in the same direction. Yeah, that's gonna turn out nice. Now our next step is to do a little bit of measuring. We're gonna get this at the same type of angle and get that glued. So I'm just gonna do a rough estimate here, and make sure I cut it a good three inches longer. That way I just don't have to deal with this big dowel here. Okay, so I got that cut off shorter, a little bit more manageable now. We're gonna get this in right where it goes here. All right. Do some marking here. And I'm going to definitely cut it long and slowly sand it down and get it to fit. Get this out again. All right, we'll take this over to the sander and we'll sand this down just like we did with the last one. Like I said, we've got one chance to get this right. So we will take our time. Let's try it out. Back over to the sander. All right, let's see how this goes. So I've done this just a little bit long. That way we can make sure it matches up as far as the angle and things. And then we'll take our time over here. So let me just go over there and make sure that is where we want to be. And I'll meet you back over here in a minute. All right. Well, I just need to change the angle a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, from about here down, I'm going to Sand it and just change that angle a little bit. Well, off camera, I went ahead and sanded a few more times. We'll just get this glued together slightly off. And then we'll just have to use some filler and sanding down to get them to match up. But really, I think it's going to be completely fine. So here you go. Here's the contraption we had to make here to get this glued together. I've got two clamps here, pulling it down to bring this together. But here's all the clamps holding together that one spot. I taped it, I got some clamps holding it, and then I had to put these secondary spring clamps to kind of hold these clamps in place because they're a little bottom heavy and they're on a very small rod. So while I got you here and we're waiting for this to dry, which is going to take another day, so this will have to sit here for another day. I know in the past I've talked about the quality of older furniture and how well it's built, like this rocker, solid wood, solid maple, beautiful shape. This isn't something that is what's called knockdown furniture where it comes in a very small box and then when the store gets it or you get it at home from maybe an online re retailer, you have to assemble it yourself. 
So we're gonna go into day three here as far as repairing this rocker. Is that three full days of work? No. But it is still three days. It is something that I have to get out supplies to start on it yesterday and then put everything back. And then again today, take apart what I did glue, bring out supplies again, start this process, have it all clamped up. Now this is gonna sit on this table all day and I gotta be careful because now I don't wanna move it, but I also can't knock into it. So this is day two. And then of course, tomorrow's day three, we're gonna have to take all this off. Then we're gonna have to finish up the repair. So hopefully it'll be done tomorrow. But I just kinda wanted to let you know what goes into doing a repair. Something as maybe looks as simple as doing this is three days, three days worth of work to get that done. But it's important because this is not only a family heirloom, not only something our client wants to keep in her family, but it's a, it's a good solid rocker. So I'm done rambling, but that's it. We'll pick up again tomorrow with the finale to getting this repair done. So we'll see you then. So here we are, day three of this small repair. I don't know if you can hear the birds and stuff. Spring's here. It's actually been pretty chilly these last few days, but we've almost hit 90 already. We're back down in the 40s at nights here, but uh, high 60s today and back into the 70s for the rest of the week. But let's go ahead and get all these clamps off and see what we have here. All right, now for the big reveal. Let's see how this worked out. Get all this tape off here. Okay, there we go. Feels pretty darn sturdy. We'll just throw some filler in some of these spots and get that all sanded, evened out. And then we'll blend in the finish. So I won't bore you with that. I'll get some quick fill filler in here so we don't have to wait any longer. It'll dry pretty quickly and then we'll sand it down real quick and we'll start blending some colors. Maybe we'll go ahead and just pick up at that point. I know it's kind of hard to see with everything in the background, but here it is. We've got it all sanded down. Let's spin it around here. Put my hand behind it. Okay, we're all taped off. Let's get some stain on this, get it matched pretty well. So I know the video quality isn't that great here. It's kind of hard with all these spindles. And then of course the background. I guess maybe I could have hung up a black sheet or something. I don't know. So we're gonna use a few of these spray cans of lacquer that have some coloring in them. Just to kind of Blend it in some. I'm going to do, use something a little darker here just to kind of real lightly just to kind of give it some grain look here. That blends it in pretty well. Now we'll just give it a couple more coats of lacquer, sanding in between. We'll do a quick little touch up around the bottom of that spindle there. And it'll be good to go. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. I'm going to just kind of give it a light sanding with this pad. And we'll give it one more quick spray with some lacquer. I 
And that's it. After that dries, this will be ready to go. All right, chair is done and ready to go back to our client. I'm sure she'll be glad to have her grandfather's chair back again. Someone put a couple pictures right here just before and after so you can see the finished product. So if you like the outdoors, RVing, camping, things like that, or maybe you wanna get into that, we've got another channel. I'll put the link below. It's First Time RVers, just channel we've set up to show our camping adventures. We do things like uh, product reviews, things like that. But if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Comment, share with your friends. Well, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.